Oh, look what we got today. We got something else to fix. This being a Sealand, well, it's a Dometic Sealand toilet from circa 2004, 2005. And you see a little logo here. I put this up for people who've never been around an RV toilet before so they can read it and not operate the thing. Um, one of the better toilets I think was ever made. A lot of these newer to toilets you buy, you can't even buy parts for them. So if something happens, you just they would want you to go out and buy another $200 toilet. I don't know how much they are. I keep this one going. I've worked on it a couple times, changed out the shaft, changed out the ball. In fact, today's problem is I think the spring is broken because see, the ball won't go back. It just does that. So what I have to do is take the toilet brush and, and force it closed in order to use it. So that's been going on for a day or two and I've had enough of that. So we're going to try to fix it. Uh, I got to digging around. I found some spare parts because so I keep extra parts just for stuff like this. You know, because any good RV is going to keep parts on hand. So I've had this. I learned my lesson years ago. I bought a aftermarket on eBay, the, one of these rubber seals, and it didn't last a couple of weeks. Started leaking again. But if you go back with the OEM factory part, uh, it lasts. I guess it's, it's been years since I put that in there, and it's still working. I'm, I'm amazed because I bought two thinking I'd, I'd need it. I haven't yet so anyway there's that and years ago I bought a spare well, I got this whole kit I think it had the, the ball valve in it it had a um, I think the spring kit because it came with two spring kits of the ones with a black one and a white one and so I got a spare white one and so I'm hoping if my troubleshooting is right I'm hoping I got a broken spring and I can take the spring out of this one, put it out of the white cartridge, put it in the black cartridge, make it work. And I also upgraded, oops, I dropped those screws. Um, I also upgraded from this little plastic shaft, they make an upgraded version to a bronze or brass shaft. I did that some years ago. And that one was a little bit more involved because you have to remove the toilet. I'm hoping I can do this repair without tearing the toilet all apart and getting down to the dirty side. That's no fun. So. Yeah, of course, as you see, look what I'm doing. I'm not wearing gloves. I'm just going to do barehanded total repair. Imagine that. The audacity. So now the tricky part is getting down in here. I'm trying to do this work and show you what I'm doing at the same time. Uh, let me get a screwdriver. Where's the screwdriver at? Hang on. Done lost my tools. I ain't got started yet. Okay. Found my tools. Let's see if we can't do this with one hand. You see back in there, you got that little clip that off. That's easy. Okay. Now, uh, this is a, these eight millimeter screws. We've got to get those two out. So i got a little ratchet here. Now these screws are quite long. So I'm going to save you the boredom of me doing this for 30, 60 seconds. So I'm going to pause the video and start up again when I get the screws loose. Alright, so I told you these screws are crazy long. Get this one loose. And you can leave your water lines hooked up, that's no worry. If we look in here, we got a Phillips screw we got to get removed. Now there's other those other two are Torx bits. We don't have to worry with them at the moment. So let me find my let me find my Phillips screwdriver. Okay, almost standing on my head to get to this thing. Here we go. Actually, I'm using the camera to see what I'm doing. Kind of helps out. this cartridge come out like it's supposed to okay so we found the problem which I suspected got a broken spring see it's broke there should like look like this now this will not work because it's a white one it's made different so if you take out a black one I just got to put back a black one or a white one so but many years ago when I bought this kit 
course it came with two I mentioned them before so I used one but luckily I saved this for hard times and today's the day for hard times now I'm hoping I can get that spring out it's got these weird screws in it but I do have a little tool put here it's got all kinds of crazy bits in it because it's one of those tamper proof bits in there so I'm going to try to attempt to get this apart now the scary part is you know how tight is that spring is it going to jump out and kill me C cut my finger off I don't know that's going to be the tricky part am I going to be able to get this spring out and transfer it to this one if I can if we can get a toilet working again tonight so let me get a screwdriver on this oops and see how far I can get Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to take this loose. Oh, something happened. See, it's got some tension on it. It's probably why they put those torque bits in there. They don't want you to take this thing apart and get hurt. All right, let's take a little bit more loose. Let me see. Let me do something else here. How many ways can this go wrong? Get a little added protection here. don't know how tightly that spring is. Oh, there it is. All right. Pretty tight. Didn't lose any fingers. and There's no blood. So it's pretty good. All right. So. So, so, so. That's how that works. Now, if I can just get this put into this, we can have a working toilet again tonight. So, all right. Take this one apart kind of slick. I put um, silicone grease is great for plastic parts. Uh, get this work. I made a mistake when I first worked on this thing years ago. I, I tried some Vaseline. That was a bad idea. It got all gummy and nasty. I had to clean it off and found out that silicone grease is the ticket for plastic parts to make this uh, toilet operate nice and smooth. Because you got that little ball and socket and cam going on in there. to get in the camera shot. That's why you don't throw stuff away. If I would throw that away, I've been a couple days waiting on Amazon to get me a new part. Of course, I'm, then again, I'm hoping this will work. Keep my fingers crossed. Look, okay, you see that one didn't jump and get all scary because the spring is already broken. We got no pressure. Alrighty. Okay, there's the old spring, and that is got that like that. Hey, they sure look the same. Let's see here. Look, yep, they look the same. The springs in the same position, wound the same direction. Alrighty then. Well, that dude's got some pressure. Mm hmm. I may have to get me some more tools, some bio scripts, some leverage here. Because I've got to do a lot of rotating. So let me grab some more tools. Okay, honey, can you watch make sure this stays in the shot? It won't take me but a second. Okay, I think I got a plan. All right, here's my pieces here. I've got my screws ready, I've got my screwdriver. So I'm gonna hold this still with my hip, kind of rotate. Where are your hands in your way? Oh, I can't see nothing. Sherry's helping me here. All right. Your hands in My hands in the way, thank you. Okay. Tight spring, tight spring. Okay, line it up. What do you think, Sweet Pea? Mm -hmm. You like it? <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Three parts, Torx bit. Ta da! New spring installed. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Let me know. Didn't jump out, did it? Alrighty. Hopefully that'll work. 
let's go give it a test run okay here's a good tip for you when it comes to making these plastic parts operate nice and smooth you know because you got this little plastic ball and it slides inside of here I'll clean all this up and put a new I put a coating of that years ago in there and it's operated really good really smooth put you some around this this bearing surface here I'll show it to here just get some on your finger like that put it on that bearing surface this this pedal will work nice and smooth for you really good stuff all right so let me clean a few more things up here and get ready to reassemble this okay see if we can do this with one hand and upside down at the same time put that on there put this cartridge in there catch on that thing. Alright, I got those big long screws and I gotta get started. What I do with them. Alright. Oh before that I gotta put my Phillips before I put those long screws in I need to put my Phillips screw in. And I need to find my Phillips screwdriver. Did you just hear that that sound, that loud snap? I'll tell you what that was. That was the sound of stupid tax. I don't like paying stupid tax, but I do from time to time. You just start a small job, it's gonna be easy, no big deal. I don't know if you noticed or not, but evidently I applied too much torque to that screw or that plastic part and broke it. Look inside here. It's that white piece of plastic right there. That's not supposed to be there. That white piece of plastic is supposed to be up inside that hole where I broke it off nice and slick look how good I did that that takes talent anyhow so now I'm paying stupid tax and see this way this is, that's all that's the whole base of the toilet right there so now what we're gonna do we're gonna buy a whole new base I hope not that would suck uh, I can just hear my dad now yeah damn dummy now look what you did <laughs> When I screwed up, he always called me a damn dummy, but he did it with love. Okay, let me dig into my MacGyver toolbox. Let me see what I can come up with. All right, so I got my thinking hat cap on. I think I got a plan. So give an idea of what was the original design. This is what I broke off. Had threads in it, and this screwed in like that, and then it tightened up. That was where it's supposed to be. Okay, but I've snapped that off. But I do have more plastic back here, another inch of plastic I can get into if I have a longer screw. And I got me a bunch of screws here, you see, a little box full of screws I always keep with me. So I did find me a nice stainless steel screw that's longer. So in order to do this, the plastic was that was still in there, I took me a drill bit, I took this drill bit, and by hand, I just spun it because it's just plastic until I got me, oh, another five-eighths of depth, depth or something. So, and then I took this drill bit, drilled this piece out, because now I got to use it as a bushing or spacer. So it just slides through. So hopefully, let's see if we get the new longer screw. I'm going to put it in here like, like that. This will act like a spacer. And push it all the way in there. See how much depth I'm going to have. Seal. It'll go all the way down, but it continues to spin because it's going to act like a little spacer bushing for me. So I can have this much getting into the good plastic that's still left in the toilet. So that is my plan. 
and it, and it re going to recesses or recess back in there like it's supposed to. So I hope, if, hopefully, this will work, and I'll be able to get this project done and over with. So don't freak out when you break something. Just work the problem. Work the problem. All right. So this, you know, this will be. So I'll do like a dry run without putting the kickstand kicker on there because I want to make sure this snugs up and this seats up all the way. So let's get things in position and give it a try. All right, there's your one more shot. There's the part that I had to drill out to the right size because remember it was solid plastic back in there. So I drilled it down another 5 eighths deep so the screw will dig into it and have something to get a hold of. All right, let's see if we can do a dry run. See if this is going to work. crazy this time with torquing down on it. It looks good. I think I can trust that. Now, let's see if we can't get this reassembled and not break it. Okay. Yeah, a little, see my little spacer it's still in there doing its job. Uh, before I do this, I'm going to put me a little bit slick them on here because that's really good on these plastic parts. It's the best because I remember years ago this pedal would stick and give me trouble. But once I started putting this silicone grease on there, never had no more issues with it. Worked really good. And of course, you also got this little wiring service here. And more importantly, is where this, this old ball piece slides. Up in here needs to be lubricated and it seems to work so much better okay I'm about to, almost standing on my head that's another part of the problem with fixing this toilet this is on a Winnebago 38J by the way so if you happen to have a 38J you know what I mean. Some of these are a lot easier to work on than others. Alrighty. Let's see if I can get you back. Is the camera even getting this? Yep. Okay, there we're getting a shot. Get my spacer oriented right. I'm gonna put me a dab of grease on this on this little lever right here where trips and does its works its magic put some on the spring keep everything moving good Got the spring action, it's doing its thing. All right, feels good. Get this back in here. Let me get some more light because I'm having a hard time seeing this. Okay, got some more light on the subject. And I put a little, that slick them on this, these screws too. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to put some on, on top of this piece. That's important. There's a lot of pressure on that little part. Okay. 
One screws in. Okay, where's my ratchet? Eight millimeter, by the way. Man, that thing's got a lot of pressure on it. I might sprain. It's no wonder they break. Yep. Toilet's filling up. Oop. Did you just see that? What did I say? It's always something else, isn't it? I have a little squirt of water here. Well, looky there. <laughs> this job is never going to end. Now I'm going to need me a valve. Ain't that funny? Yep, sure enough. Well, it's 20 years old. What do you expect? So, I got a working toilet, except I got a little leak. Just one of those things. All right. Just have to deal with it. Damn, as long as we go, I'll get me a valve on the way. And so, maybe there'll be another video. But, alright, we've going to MacGyver this, and at least we now we've got a working toilet. Alright, let me finish, and all i got, all I got left is putting this cap on until I get a new valve in here. Jeez, can you delete that stuff? Ain't no sense of getting upset about it. I just have to fix it. There it went. Alright. Alrighty. Okay, it's been a week since I made the repair. So I replaced the spring. Of course, you've seen the leak on, at the end of the video. And I haven't fixed that yet. I, I was been waiting. I've been I was thinking so because I noticed it was only um leaking mainly when I went to lift up on it to add water. And but when the fill part or the dump part, which you, know, you mainly do, it, it didn't hurry leak at all. But I'm still going to change it. But what I got to thinking about, the reason I wasn't in a hurry about it, I got to thinking, well, if I broke that like how I broke the base, and I thought, well, if I couldn't have fixed that, what would have been my option? Could I even buy a base? So I did some research. It looks like you can. So let me show you. So right here, so you can buy the complete base, whole assembly. But it's not cheap. Like I found this one here is like, See, it's $266. I thought, well, I didn't like that. Then I went to another website. I found the whole, there it is, the whole assembly for $228. I still didn't like that. But I happened to jump on eBay, and I found the someone that had one there on eBay, brand new, still in the box, $414. So that's what I did. I bought the entire base assembly, not because I needed it, but it was just a, such a good deal because of all these parts and components. In fact, I got it sitting right here on Sweet Pea's kitchen counter. It's probably the only time you'll see a toilet sitting on her counter. And let me show you some more about it. All right, I had to stand up to show you more about this. So here it is. I got this on eBay. There's the part number. Got the whole assembly for $114. Great deal. So there's my new water valve. So I'll be installing that here sometime later. And it's got a new seal. And I mean, I'll just look. These things now are like $38 for a new seal. And oh, I happened to look up the last time I bought one of these seals. It's, it has lasted me seven years, and I think one th one re reason why I get them to last so long is when we when we when we're not traveling and I put the RV in storage, I put wet I drain the water out and I put about an inch of Wesson oil in the toilet and let the oil sit there because it won't evaporate away and be dry like water will. 
so it sits there and keeps that seal moist and I think that hope hopefully that prolongs its life I think getting seven years out of one is pretty good but the nice thing about having this whole assembly I'll make a future video about doing a complete teardown of everything all the individual components replacing the seal replacing the ball valve you know because everything is pristine new nice and clean so I'm telling you if you take a used one you will not be putting your hand down in here you don't it won't be a nice experience but I did notice it does have the brass shaft in there that's upgraded our original one had a, a plastic shaft so that'll be a little bit later video I'll show you how to tear this completely down all the individual components and I was looking at past parts because I even remember oh well, actually about seven years ago somehow not, not I broke the, the pedal I was looking at my past purchases and I, I bought a pedal for it so I thought that was a pretty good deal all right I know this video is running long we'll wrap it up thanks for watching as, and as always have yourself a blessed day bye bye